What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna continue the LA Noir walkthrough. This is part three, and in the last uh, parts, I know there was a little like weird sound with the audio, so I think I fixed that doing what I'm doing now. So hopefully it's better. I don't I don't know. So without further ado, let's just get right back into it. So we're doing this investigation. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Okay, so all the signs point to this, this guy lying to me right now. It's his gun. And we went to the gun store. And the guy told us that he came in. That guy came in. To get his gun clean, so I think he's telling the truth. I meant lying. I think you he's lying. Shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. You got nothing, boy chick. You're gonna be laughed right out of court. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Oh no! You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy. I need a confession. No, what happened? No, I sort of... No, I thought that was it. I thought that was it. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony's gonna stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. Jeez, I know. It's not that serious. Alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going, motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money, and he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we know because the uh, layaway voucher. I'm done with you. Go flap your gum somewhere else. How is that incorrect? Oh, Being leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You what? Jump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first. We got it. Let's go. Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake. The jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. We conducted our first interrogation. We got him. We ran into some mistakes, but he's going down the hole. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Aw, shucks. About to go F up some commas. Uh, we passed, your actions earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. What do we get promoted to? The driver's seat. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, oh, Phelps. Oh, detective. I'll be okay. keeping an eye on you. 
I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? <laughs> well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division, welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. The classroom? Some of you guys may know What's Phelps. On, He's dude? the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up. You'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Now let's go. Our first case for our new promotion. He looking real clean, too. How we get out of here? Isn't that the cop who saw a big case and got promoted? I'm, I'm the talk of the town, huh? this place? Is this our car? Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. We got a new car. Got new suits. We, we big pimping out here. Does this car move? Does it does it not the car isn't doing anything? I'm not sure what's going on. Do we have to commandeer another vehicle? I'm sorry, sir, you're gonna have to get out of this car. LAPD, I need your car now. You can't do this! Yes we can. We're commandeering your vehicle, sir. Cause my car, my car doesn't work. This one doesn't work either. What is going on? I was trying to use my PS4 controller, but it looks like we're gonna have to use the broken controller. Cause apparently, the broken controller is the only one that can drive this car. What about yourself, Phelps? Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together, don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Marine OCS at Camp Elliott. Shipped out in early 45 as a first lieutenant and fought in the Okinawa campaign. I was wounded, shipped back home, did a year on the beat, now I'm here. All right, so our first case, PE, freight depot, depot, whatever. Is that you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. Whoa, that's a lot of blood in that car. In. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. Pull up looking real clean. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and... We'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Uh, Jesus Christ. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. See what's in the trunk. Uh, always the same two of you, fine. How about you? Crowbar. I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical joker says- No oh, good to me. I guess. What's this right here? No, don't pick that up again. You just put it down. 
Riverside Here Slaughterhouse. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Oh, that's pig blood. Did he fake his own death? Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckoned I'd take a shortcut. You're holding out on me. Spill it. I'm telling you all I know. I already wasted hours getting involved in this thing. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Do you want to tell me what you know, or do we have to take you in and loosen you up a little? Who do you think you are talking <laughs> to me like that? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Just making sure. The brand name might give us something to go on. Bloody pipe. So it could... It could... Somebody, somebody definitely tried to fake their death. If they, if they, all they cover a whole car up with pig's blood, and then that person's nowhere to be found afterwards. No, let's look at this. This is more important. It looks like. Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Stenzel. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired, by the look of it. Okay, so his glasses are left behind, and his wallet. Hey, this guy must have skipped town or something like that. Why am I talking like this? Skip town. Who says that? Doc. Detective Phelps. What have we got? A lot of blood for a blunt force injury. Exactly. Victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Okay, so already. okay, cool. Not cool, but like, cause if 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 somebody was to hit you like in the head or anywhere in the body, you won't be bleeding that much as to where it's all over the interior of the car, right? So I think that guy got a pig, killed it, splattered the blood all over the place, accidentally left the receipt. He put blood on the pipe, said it right there, left his wallet and his glasses to make it seem like a struggle. And then he skipped town. Why he skipped town, I don't know. But we're going to find that out. Alright, we're going to go to his wife's house. 